This Smart CBT video will discuss dealing with worry and uncertainty. Some common worries we may have include our own health, others' health, employment, education, access to resources, finances, death and loss, and our ability to cope. When we worry, we have a natural tendency to jump to the worst case scenario in our mind. And thoughts and images we have can make this a powerful reality. It is hard to not jump to conclusions with the media coverage. When we worry about the future, things are hard to predict and we can get caught in a cycle of stress, worry and tension. We worry to try to gain a sense of control over a situation we have no control over. We can try to do things that make us feel better, that then make us feel worse, like avoiding, shutting down, becoming preoccupied with details, checking the news frequently, having no routine, not eating or sleeping well, drinking more alcohol, panic buying, seeking reassurance and procrastinating. When worry is excessive, frequent and uncontrollable, we can also experience muscle tension, restlessness, fatigue, irritability, sleep disturbance and difficulty concentrating. Dealing with thoughts. Is your worry a practical worry that can be problem solved or is it a hypothetical worry you cannot solve? Unfortunately, our brain tries to deal with both types of worry in the same way to try and gain control over a situation that is unpredictable, uncertain or out of control. If you have a real worry, take practical action and use effective problem solving. If you have a hypothetical worry, like what if, write it down and plan a worry time period to worry about this and refocus your attention onto the present using a practical task or activity. Planning a worry time. Allow yourself to worry as much as you want about what you want for a set time frame, adjusting up and down to your needs. Outside of this worry time, write down your worry to come back to. The same worries are likely to keep intruding, which is okay and to be expected. Engage in a worry time once a day, but not close to bedtime. And throw away the list and start afresh the next day. If a worry stops you sleeping, have a notebook by your bed and refocus on sleep. This gives us a sense of control. Postponing worries allows you to take control of the process of worrying, rather than the worrying controlling you. Over time, this technique will reduce frequency and intensity of worries. When a worry or worry chain of thoughts intrude, postpone to a time later in the day, again, not near bedtime, and come back to if needed. The aim of setting a worry time is that you are learning not to react to worrying thoughts for the rest of the day, and that you are taking control over the usual urge to worry. Some helpful visuals for worrying include the worry tree from Get Self Help. Here is what the worry tree looks like. More visuals are available at www.getselfhelp.co.uk. The left hand side of the worry tree shows us what to do when the worry is a hypothetical situation and when we cannot do something about this worry. This illustrates when we have a hypothetical worry or situation and we can't do anything about this, we should let the worry go and change the focus of attention. 
On the right hand side of the worry tree, this shows us what to do when the worry is a current problem and when you can do something about this worry. This illustrates when you have a real problem, this can lead to practical action. You could either start by postponing your worry and scheduling a time to worry about this. This way, you're letting the worry go and changing your focus of attention. Or, you could deal with the worry right away by spending time to worry about this, then letting the worry go and changing your focus of attention. Using the A, B, C, D, E technique. This helps us refocus our attention and gets outside of our own internal world of anxious thoughts and feelings. A. Acknowledge what is in your mind and label it as uncertain, but acknowledge you are taking all the recommended advice and actions to stay safe. B. Breathing space. Pause for a few moments and sit with your thoughts and notice the link between thinking, emotions, body reactions and behavioural responses. C. Compassionate response. Be kind and understand to your thoughts and feelings as you would to others. Thoughts are not facts and let your mind and body do its thing. D. Detach and let it go. The thoughts and feelings are not harmful but may feel unpleasant. Choose to let them go and refocus your attention onto a task in the present. And E. Explore what is going on around you right now. Refocus your attention with your senses of what you can hear, see, touch, smell and taste to bring you back to the present. The same worries and feelings will return and that's okay. Just notice when you are going inside yourself and repeat the process. Thanks for watching this Smart CBT video on dealing with worry and uncertainty. We hope this has helped you and given you some valuable techniques to use in the future. Stay tuned for future episodes.